Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and happy 14th Tuesday of Ordinary Time. In our gospel today, Jesus speaks about a harvest, and he speaks about workers. And what is he talking about? So Jesus is speaking to those listening to him. This is a people, a culture that was agricultural. They would have been very familiar with farming and, like we see in the gospel, with harvests and workers to bring in the harvest. So the basic idea is, if you have a large harvest, you need a lot of workers to bring in that harvest. You don't have a lot of workers, what does it mean? It means more work for each workers, plus there's the possibility, there's the danger that you might not be able to, to actually bring in all of the harvest in time. You don't just have infinite amounts of time to do the work that's needed. So Jesus takes this image and now he applies it to the spiritual life and specifically the mission to preach the gospel, the mission to evangelize and to share the good news. Now, oftentimes when we hear, especially in the 21st century, this passage about the harvest and workers, we typically think about priests. You know, priests are the workers for this, you know, to bring in and reap this huge harvest, which I totally get why, because a lot of vocations offices across the country trying to promote vocations to the priesthood, they use this biblical passage to say, hey, we need priests. There's a huge shortage of priests, all of which is true. We need these workers. Come, try and inspire young men to be priests, which is, which is great. But Jesus is not just speaking about, you know, priest workers in, 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 in the, you know, bringing in the harvest. He's, he's speaking to each one of us. All of us are called to be these workers. All of us are called to spread the good news and to evangelize. And so, brothers and sisters, if we're going to do that, if we're going to respond to our Lord's call, we have to do so with wisdom and with intelligence. And so, as we are these faithful workers bringing in the harvest, um, which is everybody in this world, right? We need to begin with those closest to us. Think about your family. Think about your friends. Think about the place where you work. And then it, it kind of, you know, echoes out or it, it ripples out into the rest of society, but you got to start close to home. You got to start with those who are right around you. Problem is, it's really difficult to do that. It's much easier, I'm sure you've experienced this, to be all oh, nice and polite, full of patience and understanding for the stranger who knocks on your door than it is for your husband who just came home from work upset, than it is to be loving and charitable and patient with your, with your wife or with your kids or your own parents, I mean, what have you, right? Oftentimes, it's the ones closest to it. Those are the most difficult. And so the temptation is to escape. I need to get out of there. I need to go out to, to, to minister to these people out there, whoever they might be. And it's not really an act of charity. It's a really, it's, it's an act of escape from the mission that's right in front of you. And that is where our Lord wants us to begin. So brothers and sisters, we're the workers. Let's get out and bring in this huge harvest that our Lord has uh, in store for us. So let's ask Mother Mary to pray for us. She is the Queen of the Apostles. Pray for us that we can be very faithful stewards of the gifts we've received and workers uh, bringing in the harvest.